Hi there, I'm Nabil Murad, and this video is about cell modes in Excel. Let me share with you a problem that my friend Monica has. Monica is an advanced user of Excel, but sometimes, when editing a formula or modifying a data validation list or a defined name range, she gets a wrong range selected, which is really annoying. Monica needs to know about cell modes in Excel. In any Excel spreadsheet, there are over 17 billion cells. Each cell is in one of four cell modes. The cell mode shows up in the lower left corner of the Excel window, the status bar. Understanding cell modes helps when creating or editing formulas, conditional formatting, data validation, and defined names. What are the cell modes? The ready mode is the default mode and it means Excel is ready to accommodate whatever you type. If you type a value or an equal sign, Excel automatically switches to the enter mode. While in the enter mode, clicking on a cell with your mouse or using the arrows on your keyboard switches to the point mode. Hitting enter takes you back to the ready mode, and so on. Finally, if you wish to edit an existing formula, conditional formatting, or a defined name, hit the F2 key to switch to the edit mode. Let's check it out in Excel. The default mode of Excel is the ready mode. I can see it here in the lower left corner of my screen. If I type any text, I switch to the enter mode. Most of the comments are grayed out on the ribbon. If I type an equal sign, I also switch to the enter mode. Now if I select my input values by using my mouse or the arrow keys, I'm in the point mode. Most of the comments are also grayed out on the ribbon. Hitting enter takes me back to the ready mode. If I wish to modify a formula, a data validation list, or a named range, or even conditional formatting, I should hit the F2 key to switch to the edit mode. In the edit mode, you will have no problem modifying your ranges. And this will solve Monica's issue. Thank you for watching and see you in our next training video.